guys, it's John. Um, today we're going to be doing a unboxing and review of these Kobe Jammers Extra headphones. Um, I got these for 8 bucks on uh, Rakuten.com, which used to be Buy.com. So, um, I got these just because they came with um, the Blue Snowball kit and I wanted the black blue snowball so I don't know I just ended up getting these just to see how good they were and I needed um, over ear headphones I'm not sure if these are going to be over ear they look kind of small but we'll see so now we're going to unbox it So here's the big ones. Um, I'm probably not gonna review the small ones just because they're just small ones, and all small headphones are pretty much the same-ish, kind of. I mean, some of them are really bad, but uh, most of them are just average. So, but I might. So these are them. You can put them over your shoulders, um, like a lot of people do. Probably show a picture of me having them on my shoulders right now, and then. Um, I'm going to try them on and then get on with the review. Alright, hello, I'm back. <laughs> so, I tested the big ones. And, um, basically everything is perfect. Something you get out of, uh, normal headphones. Um, only thing is the bass is very weak. And I tried to on Drop the World, and if you guys have heard that by Lil Wayne, then you know it's, um, super bass heavy, but... The good thing about them is they're super smooth and everything, the frequencies are good except for the low ones, like the bass, um, are not very strong compared to the other ones. So they're not exactly deep bass, like it says, but um, they are nice, they're good for a lot of kind, lots of kinds of music. I don't know if I said that right, but they're good for a lot of music. Um, I haven't tried any dubstep on them. Oh wait, yeah, I have. I tried a VC Levels uh, Skrillex remix. Um, came out just perfect. Uh, there's not a lot of bass in that song anyway, so it sounds fine. Um, they look nice when you have them on. Um, they also uh, Sorry, I was interrupted. Um, what I was saying was that they look nice when you have them on. They also look nice around your neck. Um, the bass, like I said, is not very good. These actually have more bass than those. These are a little school candy, school candy inked headphones, or not headphones, but at earbuds. So yeah, I still like them. Um, I would recommend them. They were eleven dollars. I said eight dollars in the last one, but I was wrong. Looked at their seat. So eleven dollars. Plus, I haven't tried these, so I'm gonna try them right now. And uh, all right, hello, I'm back. Just tested those uh, small ones. Um, they're kind of the opposite of the Kobe's, or the sorry, they're both Kobe. The big ones because um, they capture the lower frequencies better. They have better bass. Um, and they don't really get the high frequencies as good. But the bass is still not as good as my uh, Skull Candy ones that I showed you earlier. Um, though they're, they're still nice. I'm back. Um, my SLR ran out of memory, my DSLR. So um, I was saying that they are definitely worth the money. Um, you get what you pay for. Um, 
so yeah you should get them pick some up if you want um, they're nice I mean there's nothing wrong with them if you really are that concerned about bass then I don't know um, but yeah these are on ear not over the ear I thought it was over ear so um, that's that small ones are okay um, so thank you guys for watching and uh, goodbye my next review will be on the uh, blue snowball that I'm getting so bye and I always forget something when I'm doing this video guys um, so they're both comfortable so yeah <laughs> thank you for watching goodbye